News right now, we're following the Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs, the rapper and music executive, perhaps being linked to a sex trafficking investigation. He got some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information from. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say, less than 10 minutes ago. We got here even before the crime scene tape came up. So uh, we're just down the hill. If you look up the street where Tony is right now to the right, you'll see one of those Bearcats and law enforcement. On the other side of those bushes, basically, is that home that is registered to Bad Boy Films, which is part of Bad Boy Entertainment. And the home in particular is registered not only to Bad Boy Films, but to one of P. Diddy's daughters. They are heavily armed and uh, they've been very tactful. Would now, probably be heavily armed vehicles and those very expensive luxury cars that are parked right on that driveway right there. So clearly a, a very different sight than we're used to seeing. But uh, there you see some of the people that were inside that mansion at the time of the raid. They are being talked to by investigators, by people from the Department of Homeland Security. I could see they're getting their pictures taken as well. So maybe they, they don't know uh, who you know they're looking for or, or who they have in front of them at this point, but again, part of the process of gathering information as to who in particular was on the grounds at the time that they made entry into during this raid. So uh, if we do have a vantage point from the ground there, I'm not sure. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in as we done heard some of the craziest news break today and we got to watch it in real live time as Fox 11 was on the scene as not one, but two of Diddy Homes was being raided. Now, they was at the one out in L.A., but it was happening out in Miami at the same time. Now, innocent until proven guilty, but Diddy was not there. And as more and more information came out, they have now said that Diddy has left on a private jet, possibly, but that is not yet confirmed. But 50 Cent caught wind of it, and as expected, he most definitely used this opportunity to troll. Earlier, he came on and said, now it's not Diddy do it, it's Diddy's done. They don't come like that unless they got a case. He said, it's just got real. The feds and all the cribs. Man, they got all the kids in cuffs at Bronson Cognac at Leecher Medore. And then as the news broke that Diddy could possibly be out on the jet, maybe going to another island from what they reported, you know, the speculation going to be what it be. 50 Cent came and he said, nigga ran off and left the kids in the whole ish. Yo, he doing the race. Said F it. 50 did put up this right here. Getting hit with a freako in 2024 is crazy. Getting hit with a freako in 2024 is crazy. Nine times out of ten, I don't wish jail on nobody. I swear to God, I really don't. I don't have nothing against Diddy, his kids, nothing. I just got to say it, though. A freako is wild. You, like, I never seen a freako indictment. For the feds to pull up and say, yo, you are too freaky for society. Come with me is unbelievably outrageous. And the fact that you wasn't even at the crib, that let me know what it is. Like, you knew they was coming. Being too freaky for society is wild. Like, I know R. Kelly is like, see, see, and y'all. Now, 50 Cent is going to do what 50 Cent going to do whenever some Diddy news comes out. People do want to hear what 50 Cent got to say. They've been having this online rivalry where really it's been one-sided. 50 Cent being 50 Cent, Curtis Jackson, you know how that nigga going to get out with things like this. He is not going to take his foot off the gas at all, no matter what a nigga is going through. He going to keep the situation going. But I got to say innocent until proven guilty when it comes to Diddy and what he being alleged of. He was not arrested today. He was not at the homes either. And they are saying from the reports on TMZ that his jet is out the country.
TMZ is Trey Diddy's personal love air LLC jet, the well-known black Gulfstream 5 that Diddy has flaunted and flown for years now, and it looks like the aircraft is currently on the ground in Antigua, which is down in the Caribbean. Based on the flight activity viewed by TMZ, Diddy's jet has been up and down California between Sunday and Monday, taking off from Sacramento Executive Airport Sunday evening around 5.30 and landing at Palm Springs International Airport about an hour later. An hour after that, around 7.30 p.m., Diddy's jet took off from Palm Springs yet again and landed at the Van Nuys Airport, which is in the L.A. area, about 30 minutes later, around 8 p.m. Pacific. Around 9 a.m. Pacific Monday, the jet took off from Van Nuys Airport and landed at some point in Antigua. The plane is currently grounded there, although the flight data has yet to update and register them has officially landed. In any case, it's definitely Diddy's jet, no question. The only thing that remains unanswered is whether Diddy is on the plane. We don't have any evidence he is at this point, and we also don't know what's happening on the scene. And you know what the speculation is online. They said he can't be extradited, expedited, and everything like that back to uh, the States. But this is the Caribbeans. I don't know how all this stuff works. I'll just say this right here. The feds have came. Homeland Security is involved. That means they have got the warrants from the judges. That means they think they got some, and they looking for at least to get an indictment on this situation. They didn't say that they was actually charging Diddy and everything like that, but seeing these kids get put in cuffs, that's the messed up part about this that I'm looking at like, hold on, bro. They got dog son in cuffs. This the got real. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. They got real in the field. We got to sit back and watch how everything play out. When the feds come, we know it's real. You gonna have to have everything together. His lawyer said he's innocent over all these allegations and cases that have came out against him. We haven't seen them criminally charged. We just seen only civil suits, but maybe they looking for something that can show that they have the real live proof to be able to get it to the point that he can be charged and held accountable in the court of law. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos. I'll let 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pit.